Hey everyone, I chose to read 1776 by David McCullough. 1776 was published by Simon and Schuster in 2005. Tensions, tensions were rising between the colonies and British government over taxes demanded from the colonies. The colonists resented the taxes without equal representation in Parliament. As tensions escalated, the skirmishes grew into an all-out war. The American Revolution began in April 1775 when the colonists fired upon the British Army at Lexington in Concord. The nonfiction book 1776 by David McCullough gives an account of America's fight for independence and those who participated in the important battle battles. The book opens with a glimpse of the life of King George III. The king is described as a man with simple taste and a little bravado who loves architecture and music. His wish was for the colonies to remain a part, as a part of England and seems to be in disconnect with those across the ocean. Nonetheless, King George announced the promise to use of military, promise to use military force on land and sea to end the rebellion which was growing in the colonies. He said that by reannouncing the allegiance to the king, the colonists had committed the act of treason and would suffer the consequences. King George accused Washington of trying to set up his own empire. Historical accounts say that George Washington had very little education with only seven to eight years of formal schooling. Although history accounts say that he was an, in an inexperienced leader, McCullough paints a picture of George Washington as a leader with a determination to lead an inexperienced and unorganized group of school teachers, cobblers, farmers, and every other man, no matter their size, into a battle for independence. Washington was said to be very indecisive, even making last-minute decisions when in battle, including a battle strategy of retreat. Low morale and deserters were a constant problem facing the general under the leadership in, of Commander-in-Chief George Washington. General Nathaniel Greene and General Henry Knox led an all-out war for a new America and freedom from a tyrannical British government. 1776 gives detailed narratives of battles from the American Revolution, including the quest to conquer Brooklyn, Stanton Island, and Trenton. On Christmas Day of 1776, Washington launched a campaign to capture Trenton. Although the battle strategy was delayed three hours, the Battle of Trenton Washington's army crossed the Delaware River in a surprise attack on British troops. In the Battle of Trenton, the colonial army defeated the Hessian mercenaries who had been helpful in the British fight against the colonists. Later, Washington executed a plan to lure British forces south. On January 3rd, he executed a late night assault to capture Princeton. These victories boosted the morale of the colonial armies and reasserted American control of New Jersey. David McCullough's book, 1776, gives an account behind the scenes story of those involved in the fight for independence from Great Britain. 1776 is an interesting historical read which focuses on those who participated in the American Revolution and the glorious cause of America. McCullough's nonfiction account of key battles in the fight for independence is an excellent source of information which can be used in the classroom or in one's personal library. I read this entire book cover to cover, every word on every page. I'll start with, I recommend this book as a personal read or for as a resource as a classroom, a classroom resource. McCullough's 1776 did not disappoint. In my opinion, McCullough's book is a remarkable narrative of the events, people, conflicts, and decisions which led to the formation of the United States of America. Unlike other books about the American Revolution, 1776 does not mention Paul Revere or his famous ride, nor does he mention the celebrated Minutemen. McCullough presents details and different points of view throughout the text. His work focuses on the year 1776, which was pivotal to the morale of the Patriots who fought under the leadership of George Washington. As we know, the colonial army was victorious over the British army. Ultimately, 1776 takes you from the gorgeous pageantry of King George III and his British army to an unexperienced army made up of men of every shape and size with a term determination to defeat an oppressive government. The con content, content of 1776 has been so extensively researched that it makes a great classroom resource. The text aligns with the core standards. The, section, the text is divided into three sections which makes it easy to formulate lesson plans.
I'll begin with section one titled The Siege. After reading the first section, students will divide into two groups and formulate a debate between the Whigs and the Tories. Students will present arguments from both perspectives using information research from the text, <laughs> using research from the text. This activity aligns with Alex standard that students should write arguments to support the claim and an analysis of substantive topics or text using valid reasoning and relevant and sufficient evidence. I will assess this assignment using de a debate rubric. For the second section titled Fateful Summer, students will read the text. Students will then track Washington's campaign from Boston to New York. Then students will use Google Maps and compare it to present day. This activity aligns with the core standard that students trace the chronology of events leading to the American Revolution and key roles of rev revolutionary leaders. This activity will be assessed by observation and peer review. The next section titled The Long Retreat, students will finish the text and students will then write a persuasive, persuasive essay and letter form to General Washington to persuade him of a course of action in his campaign on New York whether to retreat, launch a counterattack, or to surrender. Students will use information taken from text to make their argument. I will assess this activity using an, et on a, using an essay scoring rubric. I believe that on, upon completion of this un unit, students will have a better understanding of events and the reasoning of those involved in the American Revolution and the glorious cause of America. Thank you.